Hey there, it's Dr. Kamisa. Welcome back to our video series. And today, yes, I'm by the shockwave machine again. I got some very cool video to share with you today. Some really cool stuff that I did with Dr. Rosari and Dr. Tarek. So I want you to stay tuned. And if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button, like us, turn on your notifications. Oh, you, you want to see this one. This is going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned. So, we've done a couple videos already on the shockwave, on how it works, and on neck pain. But um, last week, we had uh, uh, orthopedic uh, specialist, Dr. Irizarry here, uh, who's also a diagnostic ultrasound specialist. And another MD was here, Dr. Tarek. And we were doing some uh, work with the shockwave unit, and we wanted to see just how the shock wave penetrates through the tissue. I mean, we just like to keep pushing the envelope and really looking at, at, what, uh, at what this technology really does. So I'm gonna show you the diagnostic ultrasound and then um, I'm gonna show you how, what we did. So on this side here, I have the diagnostic ultrasound uh, machine. And this is the same technology that uh, someone would look at if you're going to have a baby. We can take a look at that uh, at the inside with these different, we have different probes here. And we use this to diagnose if someone's got a rotator cuff tear, if there's any kind of strain to the ligament, whatever the joint is that we're looking at. But we decided to do this the other day to uh, see... Um, and I don't have three hands, so I, I'm going to show you these two, but you're going to see the video clip. But what we did is I had Dr. Irizarry, who's ultrasound specialist, hold the uh, ultrasound probe on a piece of meat. So we're just going to say that, that this is a piece of meat here. So we had the ultrasound on the meat like this, and then what happened is that I placed the instrument or the, uh, the shockwave uh, wand on top of the meat. And what we were able to do was capture how the shockwave was going through the tissue. And we were all fascinated. And I, I'm not really going to get into too much of the, of the detail, but you can hear our, uh, the raw video that we were just shooting. Um, and it, I mean, the techno this technology is absolutely phenomenal. And so when you look at uh, how the technology gets into the, the tendon, the muscles, the joints, the cartilage, and affects the bone tissue, you're going to see just how powerful this is. And obviously, like I said before on one of the other videos, we can control the depth and the intensity and the frequency. So we're gonna get the greatest amount of, of sound waves, shock waves going into that tissue to start the recovery process. So uh, watch the video, it's really kinda cool. It's really cool. So you're you're at least two centimeters there. Oh, absolutely, almost yeah. three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, all right. And then you can put it here. Yeah. So we're going to start with this first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to start off at one bar. 
and uh, we're gonna go to 10 hertz and just see. Oh, look at that! Can see how how it's going all the way yeah. to the all the way. Yeah, all the way. It's all the way. That's going that's deeper that's than. Yep. Oh, that's freaking okay. So. Okay, that's freaking that's cool. Freaking phenomenal. Because I expected maybe two. Yeah. It went I, I all the way. It's all the way. Okay. The waves went so all I'm the gonna way. go. I'm gonna go even like at six hertz. I'm gonna zoom out to yep. see even uh, to the bottom. And okay. See. All right. So let's okay. Let's go back to the yep. bottom here, right? All right. Oh my God. All the way through. Yep. Oh, yep. So let me go to uh, six hertz. Mm -hmm. Wow. Woohoo! You can even see the stronger. Look at um, that. Okay. So now we did ten, and I'm gonna go to twenty, uh, fifteen hertz. We do fifteen a lot for for trigger points. Mm -hmm. Okay. So get a picture of that right now. Mm -hmm. And did you, sorry, did you make sure to show the thickness of this meat so that people could see? Because in the muscle, yeah. when they look at it, they said, well, not only there, I said, look how thick the meat you know is. What? I'm gonna go get a ruler just so that people have a reference. Yes. Okay, so we're just so gonna get, so that's yeah. four centimeters. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, so it's four centimeters, what we're seeing there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So I can hold a ruler if you want on the side. No, okay. So now we're gonna just see what happens here. Mm -hmm. 15 hertz. Okay, so now I want to go to the. Let's see what happens. This is head number two now. This is a D20S head. And what is the difference in that one? That one goes. So this is going to go a little bit broader. Got it. Okay. See how it's, it's thicker? Yes. See how the wind is thicker? Yeah. Thicker oh right. my god! But it's coming the whole area all the way to the bottom and beyond. Okay, so let's just so see. So even for somebody who has big muscles, like okay. a big athlete, it would still go super deep. Yeah. This is thicker. Mm -hmm. Let's just see yes. how thick. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay, let me get that. Yeah. So the other points, why don't you start the uh, hitting from the fat? Oh, the fat, fat side. So let's see the fat, how can could be <laughs> oh. protecting oh. the way yeah, we can do that okay. too. All right. right? You got it there? Okay. Yeah, I got it there. It's going to be on. Let me see if I can zoom up. Yeah, we're going to six. So this is six. <laughs> and it goes all the way. It's going all the way through. That's crazy. Which is freaking phenomenal. Okay, now. Which would tell me the only reason why doing it from the front doesn't treat the back is because the bone is in the middle. But otherwise. It would okay, take so let's super... turn it on its side, like Derek mm -hmm. said. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Let's see the fan Yeah, now. yeah, we can. Right. It, 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 it goes through. Do it. it goes right through, like it's yeah. not even yeah. there. The fact doesn't affect, so it doesn't matter how yeah. fat or not the patient is. And that's the, it. the muscle is denser than the fat. Yes, so. and you know what's important is that you show this to patients who have a lot of scars and stuff, and say this goes through okay. oh, all that, so now, which is really good. Yeah, okay. because imagine when you use yeah, all because that scars, breathing, and little. scars in medicine stop almost anything. When you inject yeah. anything, they stop, but they won't stop this because yeah. it's some sort of wave. Yeah. And this is freaking awesome, man. So imagine when you use the vibrating impressed. thing, you just waving that part, but now yeah. you have all full thickness, okay. the whole muscle. This guy. You got it? It's the yep. gold tip. This is an R15. Okay. We're still at just 15 uh, fifteen hertz. All right. Yeah, all the way. So look how narrow that is. That's like yeah. little bullets. Yeah, all the way. Wow. I think I'm going to call Joe so before you do need to see if, <laughs> what, if we actually... Boy. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be that much of a... I expected more of this. Yeah, uh, just a little bit and a little movement on the tissue. That is... The, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. All right, so this is the King Daddy. Yeah. We're gonna go all the way to three hertz or three bars. 
this would be like most people wouldn't be able to handle this because mm. all the all the you would have to have a numbing cream on mm. like for tennis elbow because i'm getting get tennis elbow really bad on this side yeah for tennis elbow which one you would choose oh you'd the probably little one? The, this the silver one first. a very little yeah okay. so this let's see what this will look like okay. Do you hear the difference? Yep. And right. look, at, look at how it all goes. It's Do me a favor. Put yeah. that meat on top of my hand. The meat. Okay. I can feel it in my hand. You can feel it. And that's why it's going all the whole. All right. I can feel it touching your hand. <laughs> For real. Yeah. That, it just goes Freaking. through. Can you put the two pieces together, together and see how much is Yeah, let's see. If, yeah, uh, I don't know if this will catch together. all the way down, but... Wait, 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 wait a second. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tarek, turn this one. No, this not. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but this doesn't even get there. Yeah. Wow, well, I feel on the table. Let's see. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah. Let's turn the fat, so you should be able to catch the fat. Yeah, you see the fat. There, there's a fat yeah. layer right yeah. there. Yeah. Fat layers at like six, uh, seven, seven, seven centimeters, right? Yeah, seven, eight. Yeah, I would say eight. And we can go to two uh, 10 hertz in, in this. You got that? All right. Okay. So which one are you gonna do? Oh. We'll just, let's do, uh, keep it consistent, right? Okay. No. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Let me. You're on? Good, oh, that's a great picture. Yeah. One of the comments that Dr. Irizarry made when we were doing the ultrasound and watching the shock wave or the energy going through that piece of meat was he, t he talked about scar tissue. And even off the camera, he said that scar tissue is one of the toughest things to actually penetrate and to, to get the tissue to heal. And because that scar tissue will, does not have the elasticity of a healthy tissue. And so with the shock wave, we are breaking up that scar tissue. And after seeing this, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. It's really amazing. And we are just so excited to be able to have this technology to help people that have been suffering, whether it's neck pain or back pain or mid-back pain or hip or knee or ankle or foot or diabetic neuropathy. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, any joint, any part of your body, this shockwave uh, technology is absolutely amazing. So, as we just keep pushing the envelope, as we keep just really trying to, to create the best outcomes and truly understand this technology so we can better fit it in for a patient application and for specific conditions, we are just so excited about this. So as we continue to empower you to live your best day every day, we have to continue to uh, investigate and find different ways of learning about the technology, using the tools that we have to better understand the technology. And whether we got to go to the butcher shop to help us out, well, then we do that too. So until next time, have yourself a great day. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.